Do you know what the number one most underrated feature, in my opinion, on Nikon DSLRs and Z cameras is? Is that the build quality, Becky? No. Is that the color sign? No. <laughs> Autofocus speed? No, I'm going to tell you because otherwise you're going to run through all the features. What it actually is, is this marvelous little button. It's a feature included on every single DSLR and Z camera, and it actually tells you how to use your camera built in right there. So what is it called, Becky? Tell me. Uh, I mean, it's called the question mark button. It's probably got a better name. The question mark feature. The question mark feature. <laughs> I am like you. Feel disappointed with this clickbait title, but <laughs> stick with us and we explain why this is important. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced professional, uh, and cameras here to advanced demonstrate. Professional. <laughs> Whether you're a beginner or an advanced professional, the question mark feature is helpful for you, and we're going to show you why. Shall we start with a beginner's camera? Yeah. The D5300 is a good example of an entry-level camera. I'm going to show you where this question mark button is on a camera like this. Right on the back, you have the zoom out button, which is a little magnifying glass with a minus in it. But right above it, you have a question mark. This button serves two purposes. Anywhere that you see the question mark symbol in the bottom left-hand corner of your menu, you can push the question mark button and it will tell you what that function does. This is particularly useful if you are, for example, in the custom settings menu, where there are dozens of options to choose from and sometimes it's a little bit difficult to know which one you need. So, for example, in your autofocus, here we've got AFC priority selection. What does that mean? You press the question mark button and it actually explains what the different options do so that when you're on the fly, you don't have your instruction manual with you, you can find out right away which options you need to choose. But what if you are a self-proclaimed professional photographer like me and we don't read the manuals, we don't know what things do, but we pretend we know. So you've got the camera like Z9, on Z9 the question mark is there as well and it's got you covered for the features like post and pre-release, zebras and also starlight view. Just press the question mark there and it will explain you what it's doing. Let me show you an example. For example, a starlight view, which is in the custom shooting displays. Uh, if you click on that, there's a little question mark in here, but so you click on that and it gives you a description on the back of the screen. So it tells you exactly what it does. And in this case, it says, make the live view display brighter to assist in framing shot when lighting is poor. Here you go, folks. It's fantastic. So here you have it, folks. It doesn't matter which Nikon camera you have, the question mark feature got your back. It's got you covered. If you found this video useful, please give us a like and a subscribe. We are trying to make more content for everyone, whether you're a beginner or a professional. Like me. <laughs> and you. No. <laughs> <laughs> and if you found this video. Ah, and if you found this video brilliant, just like we did, then there's a super thanks button there. So just click on there. Don't be shy. If there are any other features you'd like us to cover, drop them in the comments below and we'll see you very soon. Bye bye. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs>